dismiss the orcs as brutish, 
but that demeanor masks a cunning and cruelty well suited for warfare. Their weapons likewise seem brutish, but make no mistake, they know their purpose. One sharp blow to the head will split your skull, whether it comes from Gondorian steel or orcish pig iron. This mace is far older than what we usually find on the battlefield. I doubt the orc who stole it knew of its heritage. King of Gondor, Aena, challenged the Witch King himself in the heart of Angmar. Armored for war, not ceremony, he left his crown behind when he rode to his fate. We hold it in trust for the day when a King of Gondor will return to wear it. Though we need a future King with enough sense not to confront the Witch King alone. This crown is worthy of a king. Ah, but your people have spurned their kings, have they not? He's dead! Get him! You're dead now! See, he's not so fast! Get down here now! I chose the form of a spider because I wanted to walk the web of fate, to weave its strands. The Dark Lord chose something else. He chose a shell of 
cold, dark steel. He became a machine. A hollow man. From the beginning, Sauron was a creature built for war. Then it falls upon us to undo him.
Gnomes esteem delicate finery in all their arts, and the crystals in this artifact glow softly, even in a pitch black room. I know this firsthand because I'd often sneak into the Great Hall and read by crystal light when everyone thought I was safely in bed. Finest crystal found in roughest Mordor. Fascinating. Surprised the orcs didn't smash it just to hear the sound. Praise my hunger, though he called it passion. We were as one. Now I live in darkness at the edges of his empire. I explore the web of fate, a silent witness to his growing power, his everlasting dominion. It is time for me to come into the world. Spider always lies in wait. But for what? observations will reveal our path. We must tread carefully, Talion. Just what I need! Your skull would hit you, maggot! to end now, when it was just getting interesting. I think not! Yeah. 
Spearman! Vision is not cast in stone. The Witch King. It is the power of domination. The ring can enslave the minds of men. What can be done? Sacrifices must be made, and many will be lost. But we must hold to our purpose, no matter what the cost. Lives can be saved. If the war chief from my vision is the same one Berenor and his men are hunting, they will need help. One war chief makes little difference. Right now, this one war chief is the most immediate threat to Minas Ethel. I will not stand by while Berenor and his men risk their lives to take him down. Berenor, I'm here to help. This war chief you're after, he's not one to be taken lightly. We've brought down war chiefs before, Ranger. But I won't turn down an extra sword. Then we shall take him down together. I'll take out his archers first. Your men move in after I've cleared the path. Archers is true. Otherwise, we'll be dodging friendly arrows. 
They're experienced soldiers. They'll do their part. Dorian archers. Really? Only three? I wish <laughs> I was with the Siege Beast crews. No, I don't. <laughs> Set them up. <laughs> to There's been a murder here. Taken the war chief so long. I'm ready to get killing. Who knows? It's always the same. <laughs> <laughs> Some time since I've seen this many captains. <laughs> Never underestimate men fighting to protect their home. This is not their home. of the archers. Now let's get to a vantage point. Sweeter. Together we will crush their defenses and grind them to dust. Together, as captains in War Chief United, we will have victory. Together, we take the city at dawn. Set them ablaze! Bogondo! Now is the time to strike. The blood of man-swine will flow into my belly today, and I'll drink yours first. Yeah. Your blood. Darkness consumes! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
I'd say we're even. A good hunt. Hmm. Less so for the war chief. And his archers. We should go hunting again. It would be my pleasure. So, Tally. Did we make a difference? We cannot see your lens. We must return to Shilob. The only reason to go back is for my ring. Enough! This is about more than your ring. Or you! Her sight may be what saves us all. Trust her too easily. I cannot ignore what she has shown me. Shelob can reveal Sauron's weakness. We need her. But at what cost? Shelob can help us weaken Sauron's forces. She is skilled at using the truth to weave her lies. Oh, 
To an orc, grog is strong drink for their bellies, but it's also medicine for their wounds, and so combustible that it may even be fuel for their war machines. Few Gondorians dare drink it, lest we start to behave like the orcs. Still, it is worth studying. Baranor has some ideas about a poison that, when mixed with grog, can disable or even kill the strongest orc. Oof, this grog smells foul. Ah, but to an Uruk it is ambrosia. History and peoples of Gondor, every child receives countless lessons in our realm's history. Our kings and heroes, our battles and triumphs. Doubly so for those of us who grew up on Gondor's frontiers. The teachers meant well. They were trying to inspire us. But all the tales of Gondor remind us how exposed we were to the threat of Mordor. Gondor's history. Triumph in one chapter, despair in the next. Concern yourself with the chapter yet unwritten. Come to see more. I know. If you can see Sauron's fate, tell us his weakness, so we may defeat him. Your vision is limited. I would love nothing more than to see his torment. To see him beg before me. But my gaze is fixed upon the fate of Middle-earth. Return what you have stolen from me, and I will bring Sauron to you in chains. Why would I do that, Ringmaker? You and Sauron are one. Is this what you seek? 
vagaries and riddles. She is not our ally. Certainly not yours. Come, Talion. See through my eyes, see through my eyes. That defeat comes from within. Her visions have come to pass. You and I have both seen it. And Minas Ethel is fighting a war on two sides. Wait, Bright Master! We know how you can find the traitor. Take us to him. A war chief speaks to him through a messenger. We can show you the messenger. Look there, do you see? The Dark Mistress offers her little ones a nest filled with her children. Wake them and seize what they do. So he can gobble them up! A wretched fate. What brings terror to our enemies is valuable to us. Come, the messenger is near. There! That's the messenger! Follow him, and he will lead you to his master. We'll take it from here. Stay out of sight, Gollum. Important business. Go to see the man breaker. Just met with a traitor, so I have valuable information for him. I wasn't in your way. And if you got such important business, why are you bothering to stop and brag about it to me? Get moving, you maggot! <sighs> 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 Important news for the war chief. Just met with a pink skinned traitor. He had quite a message for the boss. You better shut your mouth and get moving. Manbreaker will skin you if you keep prattling on like that. I don't like the sound of that. Go take a look. So it's a deal. Which I mean, was just makes rats. <laughs> Good is done. Darkness comes for you! I see. 
Windbreaker! I have news for the traitor in Minas Ethi! How many times have I told you all? Never speak of the traitor openly! Let this miserable dead glob be an example to the rest of you! The next maggot to even whisper the word traitor around me will get worse! It's a vicious cycle, isn't it? The Overlord sends slaves into the tunnels to clear webs, and some of them always get caught by spiders. So then he sends in more slaves. stop that from happening. We must get it back.
And we will. But first we must deal with the traitor within Minas Ethel. This artifact, a chunk of Moonstone, was our last acquisition before the Orcs came. A scout found it still smoldering out in the fields where it fell to Earth from the moon overhead. I am far from superstitious, but even I wonder whether this bit of fallen Moonstone was meant to serve as an ill omen for the disaster that followed. An ill omen from the skies. Minas Ethel was doomed long before this moonstone fell to earth. Reckon on the bone! 